Welcome everyone to ITD Game Reviews. Tonight, we're going to review Age of Empires 4. Age of Empires 4 basically released on uh, Microsoft Windows on October 28th, 2021. Um, so RTS, if you ever played any of the uh, Age of Empires games, you know what you're getting into. Uh, we'll just kind of go around, Robin, see what everybody's take on this one was. Uh, let's see. Let's take the least experienced RTS player out there, Shane, and find out what are your initial thoughts on Age of Empires 4, Shane? I... Th- I don't know how to feel about this one. I, I've played them before. I've never been great at them. I'm not great at RTS. I'm not even going to BS about that. I mean, I'm not, but that's okay. I enjoy them. Um, this one here seemed, and I don't know if it was intentional or not, um, it seemed a little streamlined uh, to keep uh, complexity down. Uh, it, it was certain with certain uh, features, let's say. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I did not dislike it at all, but I enjoyed it. But I didn't love it. Uh, I was really hoping uh, because, you know, we all enjoy cooperative games. Uh, it was a little lacking in the cooperative area, uh, which kind of sucked. Uh, you know, we had fun doing what we do, but we would get so caught up doing our thing, building our bases, building uh, our fortress, our troops, blah, blah, blah that we would just basically stop talking. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't say crap to each other for a while. And then, you know, oh, shit, I'm being attacked. You know, and here comes, you know, Russ or, or Pat or Nick running over here to save my butt um, or vice versa. This is a hard game to really review because it, it's fun, but it's not great. It's not bad. There's things I can nitpick. There's things I could, you know, I could be, you know, really praised. But uh, I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about it. Uh, we can kick in a little bit more in a bit. Nick, what did you think, bud? You're you you're definitely more into this than I am. Um. Yeah. I mean, overall, I like it. I think it's fun. It's just for me, there was a lot of design choices in this game that I don't quite understand. There's a lot of RTS norms that they didn't include in here that seemed just boggling why they're not there. And thinking about previous Age of Empires, there's a lot missing in this one. Just like a lot of features that old Age of Empires have had that just don't seem to be there. I, I'm sure at some point they probably will be, but it almost feels like. I mean, it's a complete game. Don't get me wrong about that. But it almost feels like a an early access that's like later on in its life, you know, where like not all the features are quite there yet, but they're going to be there later. Uh, example is like when we're setting up match, when I set up matches for us, like there is no random uh, civilization option, which is that's like in every RTS, there's always a random, like if you just don't know who to choose, you can just hit random and be like, I'll just be whatever. Right. And that's not there. And it's like, (laughs) that's weird. Why is that not there? And then, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, we'll get into more specifics, but like the, the tech trees seem kind of uh, bare bones compared to how they usually are in age of empires. So yeah, there's just a lot of things that just seem to be missing. It's a fun game. I enjoy it. I like it. It's just missing a lot of things that most RTSs would have that just boggles my mind as to why they're not there. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure they'll come later, but it's like, well, this is well, this is not an early access game. This is not a beta. Why are these features like, oh, we'll put them in later? They they should be day one features. I mean, a lot of these features that are missing are like no brainers for RTSs. So it's really strange that they're not there. But I think the core gameplay is fun. Um, you know, it's it's Age of Empires. You build up your empire and troops and various things like that. It's just missing a lot of things that I think should be there. Uh, what about you, Pat? Yeah, it's really hard to put your thumb on what it is, but the game seems to be lacking. It seems very light. Um, It has only eight civilizations, which, you know, whatever. I mean, it's eight different civilizations with four different ages. It just seems like the gameplay is too short. I remember playing Age of Empire games that took hours upon hours, and then this one's just like 
over quick, you know? And yeah, and the lack of multiplayer like randomness to it kind of hurts a little bit because there's not a lot of like randomize this or randomize that. And you only have basically two types of mode, right? You have the game never ends, no matter what, even if you wipe out the enemy or you got the mode where whoever takes over the most, uh, you know, who takes over all the holy sites or builds the wonder and defends it or takes out the other person's um, uh, relic sites. It seems dumb that there's no lack of anything other than that. There's no like attrition mode or domination mode or anything like that. It's really, really weird. Um, and each civilization has their own specialized units, but they everything just seems generic. It's like, okay, I'm gonna build up a I'm gonna I've got a, a barracks to build my troops. I got an archery range, I've got a dock, a siege workshop, and a stable. That's it. That's where all my units come from. You know, and then you're, you know, obviously your town center has its own little things, but the upgrades and everything are just like, I don't know how to explain it. Everything seems extremely pared down for what I expect an RTS game. It's like this game was built for like, you know, the closest thing I think of is, is paintball. Everybody loves paintball, but everybody hates speedball. I hate speedball paintball because it's just a waste of money and a waste of paint. Age of Empire 4 feels like that. It's like they took this grand strategy and condensed it into something you can do a um um an esport with. I wonder if that's kind of where they're going with it. Some just thing just clicked in my mind. I wonder if they're trying to make this into an esports thing where but I don't know. You know, kind of like StarCraft used to be and they're trying to do something like that. They've simplified it down to where it can be done in like 30 minutes or an hour and you're done with the entire thing for a multiplayer match. So to me, it seems very too much pared down for what I was expecting. I was expecting, you know, Age of Empires, massive strategy game, you know, build up your forces, stalemate for hours on end, you know, until something breaks and then the, you break through the lines or, you know, it's a back and forth and it's not really like that. It's, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm a little disappointed in it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of disappointed in it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Nick. Oh, I was just gonna say I'm I'm, I'm disappointed. I, like I said, I like the core initial gameplay, but I am disappointed in just the lack of tech trees and upgrades. It's just it's just limiting. It, it does seem pared down. Like I said, it feels like early access. Like this stuff's coming later, but here's what it is now, and it's like, well, there's not much here. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. I mean, there's stuff there. I mean, everything works, but like. Even like when you advance age, like your 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 buildings change, but like your walls don't change. You have yeah. to build stone walls, which is really weird because in the old ones that wasn't the, a thing. Yeah, the um, that was one thing I thought was odd. I mean, you go to the next generation, the next age, and it it doesn't really equate to anything until you start building the new things, or you know. I don't know. It's it, it definitely for somebody like me was easier to grasp, to learn, to play. Um, you know, I'm still not as quick at it as, as you two are because uh, you know you have the experience, that, you know, more experience than I do. But the the, the like you said, Nick, it does feel more you know early access because the, the I mean even I notice things are. Like, really, why isn't that there? I mean, just the attrition mode you mentioned alone, Pat, uh, that is, that's what these games are for. They're for just destroying your buddy or destroying some random person. It's, you know, that's like one of the biggest features you could, you know, put into a game. I want to be able to destroy both of you. I want to be able to you know, run my little you know, Mongolian horses up your butts and, you know, destroy you that way. But, you know, it's just not there and it's just, it's odd, but uh, I do enjoy the game. It's just, I don't, I can't really judge how much I do enjoy it. Cause I think if we came back in three months, I bet we'll find some of the modes, the attrition, you know, we'll probably find a few upgrades that have been added to it. Maybe some more uh, civilizations to use. Um, I don't know. I, but I did feel that uh, the Mongolian uh, was the easiest one to use. Uh, to me, it felt like it was just cake compared to um, the Russian or um, the other one I used. I cannot remember the name of uh, England. I think it was. Uh, but, anyways, it 
it, it was, there was like, that was like almost completely different to play with. Uh, because you didn't have to build structures for homes, you know, to increase your population. Now, I don't know what the max was, but I mean, my max population, I think was like 200 and something for or Russia. So I don't know. It's, it's one of those games that I wish I could just say I loved it or I hated it, but yeah, I'm just like right on the fence of there's so many things to enjoy, but there's things that don't make sense. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of floaty for me. Yeah, it's it's an odd it's an odd thing, and I don't know what it is. I mean, every civilization is going to be a little bit different. They have their weaknesses and strength, and that's the whole thing behind it. You find one that you mesh with, and you like their weaknesses, their strengths versus their weaknesses, and so you play them, and you get good with them. That's what Age of Empires always been about, right? You get that specialized unit, and then you you go to town with it. So, I mean. <laughs> Some of the core stuff, like Nick said, is there, but I honestly feel that the game is just driven towards quick, successive multiplayer sessions and not like what I would consider the the strat massive strategy battles of the past, you know? And yeah, it's a 200 unit pop cap. I think that there's a, there might be a civilization or, or two out there that can go above that, but I can't quite remember. Uh, I haven't played all the civilizations yet, neither. Uh, so it's... I just feel overall lacking. I'm kind of glad it was a Game Pass game because I'd have been disappointed if I had spent 60 bucks for this. I feel. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Uh, thank God for Game Pass. Uh, game Pass PC. <laughs> I love you. Uh, right. But Nick, I mean, the last game me and you played strategy was uh, Halo Wars 2, I think. It was the last one me and you played together. Oh, no, no. We played uh, shit, shoot, shucks. Oh God, we played that one not too long back. Actually, with the mechanized units yes. and all that stuff. Yeah, oh, uh, Iron Harvest. Iron yeah. Harvest. Yeah. So I mean, comparatively, this one, this one's very thin, very minimal compared to even Iron Harvest, which, if I understand right, is a smaller developer. But you know, don't quote me. I can't remember. It's been a whole while. Iron um, Harvest has less uh, structures. Civic, yeah, it's yeah. less civic type stuff but mm. and it's designed to be a pump out units just massive yeah. wash of fighting going on age of empires is not built that way because you'll get into skirmishes and units will just kind of decimate each other and it's out and over with yeah um it's you we know found it's, out. It, it's like who can build who can build and who can pump out the upgrades the quickest wins in this game and that's really what it is if you can build up four of every building type max up your gold increase You'll reach the age before anybody else can. You'll have fully upgraded armor and weapons and just kind of mow through the, you know, the enemy. Yeah, and so that's a very much rush-like game. Because yeah, the NPCs, that's all the computer does. If you play against the computer opponent, yes. that's all they do. They just rush the whole time. They don't, they don't do anything but rush you. Yeah, and that was one thing I liked about the Mongolians is I didn't have to worry about uh, housing structures. It was just, you know, breed them, throw them out in uh, you know, the woods and have them start digging gold, chopping lumber, you know. Uh, it was the easier one for me. That was one less thing I had to focus on because I, I created groups. Uh, basically, you know, my short keys, I put uh, military on the left side of my short keys, uh, you know, commerce and crap on the right, uh, which, you know, not having to worry about structures for housing was a big blessing because my brain doesn't focus on too much at one time. Well, I'm not built that, that way. <laughs> and, you know, Relic was one of the developers in this. And I had high hopes because Relic did Homeworld. If anybody's ever played any RTS and stuff, Homeworld is like a space one that's just massively awesome. And they also did the Dawn of War series, the 40K series. And I'm like, that was a great game. Those games are uh, 40K series basically is less about civilization type structures and more about massive unit pump outs. But I mean, come on, anybody who's played like Homeworld and stuff like that, that's a deep, deep strategy game. And I don't know. I had higher hopes for this game by Relic, and I was a little, I, I will admit, I was a little disappointed in it for myself. I i felt that the unit, the specialized units weren't worth a darn half the time. You didn't need them to win the battle. It was just, I don't know. It felt very, I guess my, I have to agree with Nick. It feels very much early access for the game. There's no bugs. I didn't run into any bugs or anything breaking in the game. It's just everything felt so generic and so just meh to me so i'm glad it was a game pass game because this is definitely a a sale buy for me and i'm a huge age of empires fan 
Yeah. And give this game a year and this game will probably be awesome, right? They'll bring out everything else that it needs. And I mean, right now it feels like they're building a house. They got the foundation, they got the frame up, but there's no walls. There's no electricity. <laughs> Nothing is hooked up. It's just a frame sitting there on a foundation, you know, and they need to put in all the padding and everything else that goes with it. Um, and that's what this game needs. I mean, I think with, you know, if you think about this game, I mean, again, it's, it's, it's core fundamental is there. It just needs a lot more added to that to, to, to flesh it out. So, you know, if you're thinking about possibly buying this game and you don't have game pass for PC, um, maybe give it probably a year and I bet you this game will be, you know, the the best Age of Empires you play, right? I mean, it'll probably be up there with like Age of Empires two, you know, as far as as a great Age of Empires game. But again, it's just right now it, it's a fun game and I enjoy playing it, but it just seems to be missing a lot of things that should should be there or should have been there. I mean, in multiplayer, we like Pat said, there's very little options. Uh, you have two game modes, one you can't lose just exactly what Pat said. And then the other one, like there's no I mean, you think of old Age of Empires, there's tons of map modes. This one has two and one is like play the Age of Empires, how it's always been played, which is what normally most people don't play or play the sandbox mode. You know, they didn't have any customizations to like to change. I mean, you could do resources, but all it was was you, you're starting resources like you start high or you start normal. That's it. Not like, you know, old Age of Empires, you could start with like. You could even put, if I remember correctly, you could put in values for how much gold and like lumber and stuff like that that you started with. You know, if you wanted to go all out and just do a big old big battle, you know, give everybody infinite resources and just go at it. You know, that was always fun to just see like how quickly you go up and put a bunch of AIs or against your friends and just build as quickly as possible and build a huge army and go out there and destroy everything. Uh, and then just all that's just missing <laughs> from this game. Yeah, I, I wished it was. I, I'm definitely thankful for Game Pass. It's uh, it, it's it's definitely a game built for Game Pass. It really is. Uh, but if you're gonna buy it, man, I agree with Nick. Wait, uh, I mean, it's a thirty dollar game right now, max. I mean, I couldn't see more than thirty dollars for it. Uh, the single player content, you'll definitely get your thirty out of it. But it's the same thing. Nobody really gets it for the single player. They want to, you know, they want to go online and and play against people and play with their friends. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm 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 thankful this was Game Pass. I, I agree with Pat. Sixty dollars would have pissed me off on this game. So, but yeah, and I think there's only one like known expansion coming out, maybe two or something like that. That's known, and I think. If you purchase any of the versions, you get the expansion. So I don't know what that's going to look like for Game Pass players, but I don't know. I, I'm sorely disappointed in this game, but maybe I just had too much high hopes without reading what they were going to put into it. I mean, I should have probably read a little bit more, but I'm just thinking Age of Empires. I loved all the Age of Empires, even the Age of Mythology stuff they put out. I loved. And then now we're getting this game and I just feel it's a little light in the loafers. It didn't come. It didn't come to play. That's for sure. The DLC, by the way, is called The Rest of the Shit. The Rest of the Shit. <laughs> it, it definitely didn't come out to compete with other RTSs. I mean, there's, you know, I mean, I, I can't think of any RTSs that have come out that's been as significant as like maybe StarCraft 2. I'm, I'm trying to think of other RTS. I haven't really played much of any RTSs since then um, that I could think of. There might be ones, but I just can't think of them. Um, and you know, I mean, I, I guess the best RTS out there currently would still be probably Starcraft too, <laughs> you know, I mean, really, um, you know, you're going to get your money's worth of that and Starcraft. I mean, if you haven't played Starcraft two by now, it's a great game. So, uh, it's a great RTS, uh, you know, hopefully they'll come out with a command and conquer. I don't know. Let's do that one. I'm ready for that one. And they did do yeah, the I remake. That was fun. All right, I'd like a command and conquer as well. Yeah. But yeah, they're supposed to be adding more civilizations and more stuff now. I mean, I don't know why they did this the way it is. I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to get something out there. Um, but I really wish they would have had a more fleshed out gameplay. I don't care about adding more civilizations down the road. That's cool. Do that. But make the game complete. I don't know. It felt really lackluster. The campaign felt very lackluster. 
The multiplayer was just build as fast as you can through the four ages. The tech trees were felt not thought out. You're like, okay, this tech tree seems lame. This tech tree is boring. What the heck is this? That's not a tech tree, <laughs> you know? So there really isn't a tech tree when you think about it. You're not researching things to go open up another branch. You're going, okay, every level of my buildings has an age tag. So it's like, I want to give my troops level one armor and level one weapons. I can do that when I build the building. Age two, upgrade that level one to level two. Age three, age, raise everything to level three. Age four, raise it all to level four. Yeah, it boring. felt more like yeah, it felt more like just a, a perk you unlock right. than a, it felt a boring. Yeah. It it wasn't like I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into this. I mean, Age of Empires has never been that de- he- heavy on the skill tr- on the tech trees, but still, I felt like the specialized units for each tr- each um, each civilization didn't matter. I don't know. It felt like they were useless to some extent. Did you guys notice and? and- for me, I don't. I, I believe this didn't happen, and and you know, you can uh, let me know if I'm wrong about this, but I could have swore in the old age of empires, and it doesn't seem to be happening in this one. When you upgraded troops, like to veterans, or you put the armor on, like you buy the armor upgrade, their look changed, uh, or through the civilization, their looked change, or their uh, looked uh, changed. And I didn't quite notice, and maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Did the look of the of like your units and stuff change the look of them? I think it was Age of Empires three did something like that, where you could actually change the visualization of troops as they as they went to the elite. ages. Right. Yeah, I don't think I noticed any of that. On Age of Empires four, there's definitely none of that. There's no upgrading ages and pumping out new troops that look different. You, your your spearmen at level one look the same as the level four elite spearmen. That's just they're just level four have level four armor and crap on them. It's um there was no visualization changes that I saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't either because I, I could have sworn the old ones and maybe it was just three, but I could have sworn all of them whenever you upgraded or 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 went to the ages. I can't remember which. Um, the visual effects uh, aesthetics of the troops would change. All your units would change. Well like, well, like if you think about like age of what was it? Was it two? I think it was two. It may have been two or three, but like you took like your an example would be like your uh, spearmen, because that's what you get in this one. There's your spearmen. The spearmen actually, as you go through like ages, would upgrade into pikemen and then the pikemen would upgrade into the halberdiers. There is none of that in this game. It's like, OK, my pikemen are still pikemen at age four. I just now can create these different units besides them on top of them. But like in the in the regular age of empires. It was like, I'm in the feudal age. I'm building spearmen now. I'm in the castle age. I'm building pikemen now. And then I'm in the imperial age and I'm um, bringing the, the halberdiers. And it was the same thing with the swordsmen and stuff. You start out with militia, and then men at arms, and then long swordsmen, and then uh, two handed swordsmen and champions, etc. There is none of that now. I feel like it's been extremely dumbed down. And I, I'm not a huge fan of it right now. They really need to change that because the tech trees were more in depth than the previous Age of Empires games, in my opinion. Yeah, they definitely shamed down the difficulty. So, yeah, when and that's what I thought too. Like you were saying, Pat, because when we got to the Imperial Age, I'm like, Pikemen. Why am I? Why can I still build? Why are they still called Pikemen? Is something weird here? Like, because like, like it was just looking at it going. Something doesn't seem right. Are they supposed to change into something else? Or am I thinking of a different game? No, that was something in two. And I think three did something very similar as well. Um, But this one didn't. It seems like they just lazy. They just took the lazy route here and they're just going off the name. And that really is disappointing for my opinion from Relic. Because I really had high hopes from something Relic would pump out. Uh, That's what you get. I think they're just living off the name. But that's just my opinion. Hopefully in a year it'll get better and they'll make things better, but I'm not sure I'll be back in a year. I might have other things to play. So. Gotta hope we got other shit to play by then. Yeah. And in my opinion, this one is not that visually upgraded from the previous versions. I mean, to me, it looked a little, it looked okay. It wasn't like, Oh my God, this is a age of empires Four, freaking current gen game. 
it doesn't look like that. It's like, am I playing Age of Empires three definitive edition mm-hmm. here? What am I playing? You know? Yeah. So. Well, it it's 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 one of those games. It's just visually, it's fine. I mean, there's it's not bad looking. It's not. It's just not. There's nothing to wow about it whatsoever. Uh, even when I noticed when uh, we finally got uh, you know some maps where we could build the docks and stuff. You know, when you get the explosions or the fire on the uh, mass. It, it really looked animated. So, I mean, that's probably the biggest complaint I have on the visuals. You know, the explosions and the fire really just kind of look cheap, animated. I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree with Nick. It's just lackluster. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It is lackluster. I think they just did exactly the bare minimum to get it out. Your troops don't upgrade like they've done in previous units, as Nick had pointed out. And so, I'm, I, like I said, I'm highly disappointed in it. And I'm going to have to stop because I'm going to just be like, Screw this game, because that's already where I'm at. I'm like, this is, we were playing, and after the first multiplayer map, I'm like, this is boring. Um, I've done it. And then we played another one, and I'm like, okay, meh. And then we played another one with, with ships, and I'm like, hey, we got ships. Okay, cool, let me check those out. All right, there's five different ships. That's it. All right, what's next? You know, it felt very lackluster to me, and I, don't, I, I can't think of a better word for it. It was very lackluster. Yeah. Last thing I'll say is, why in multiplayer are all my teammates one color? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Everyone's yellow. I'm blue. Everyone else is yellow. So I don't know if the person, my teammate, you know, Shane, I don't know if he's north of me or south of me because they're yellow. <laughs> yep. And then you're right. going, are you moving a horse? No, I'm right. not moving a horse. No, I'm moving a horse. <laughs> you run into your buddy and you're like, is that you? Be like, I'm the blue guy. Are you yellow? <laughs> That's the first time we played. I'm like, you're yellow and I'm blue. And he's like, no, I'm blue. No, I'm blue. Uh, I'm blue, you (laughs) bastard. (laughs) Yeah. Next thing we know, it's like, oh, your entire team is yellow and you're the only one that sticks out. And you're like, okay. Yeah. yeah. There's no team colors. Was There wasn't no color selection, was there? Right. No, it's just whatever color you wanted your team to be was the only color I think they had in there. So Mm -hmm. red was the enemy and yellow was the default for your teammates. And I'm like, well, I agree with you. That's garbage because you're trying to figure out which one of your teammates is where. So you're like. Oh crap, Shane's in the middle. He's getting attacked. So you're like, hey, go to Shane's base. And now you're like, which one's Shane? Is he the top one or the middle one? And I'm like, I'm the top one. <laughs> Shane is the middle or the bottom. <laughs> you know, so I am. It's it is what it is. Hopefully they come out with some stuff that makes it better. But we'll see what it looks like in a year from now or six months or when nobody's playing it again in a year. So uh anybody else got anything else on this one before it just becomes into a complete crap on this game fest crap fest. at least they didn't release it broken they just released it half empty yeah yep they were missing one of the pant legs it was missing pant leg and then the shirt was only like it was missing like five or six buttons so it had that weird little button gap going on so all right well let us know what you think did you guys play the new age of empires 4 are you a fan of age of empires let us know what you thought about the new age structure and uh the progressing through the ages. Did you think it was interesting? What do you think they're doing? Why do you think they deviated from the tried and true methods of before? So let us know what you think. Comment below, you know, and don't forget to hit that. uh, Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications when we post new videos. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we hope to catch you the next one. See ya.